Hello to all students. I am Professor Masood Fuzel. Today we are going to discuss transduction in bacteria. In my previous lecture, we had discussed about conjugation process. Conjugation is the process of transfer of genetic material of one bacterium to another bacterium with, by, with help of cell to cell contact. Transduction is a type of transfer of genetic material or DNA from one bacterium to another bacterium with help of virus or phage, virus or bacteriophage. So I had already made a diagram for you. So to discuss the process of transduction, first of all, we have to look at the structure of a bacteriophage or phage virus. As you know that this is a bacteriophage, which is known as phage virus. This phage virus has different types like T2, T4 phages. They have protein capsid and also contain uh, uh, DNA as a genetic material. Only, D, uh, only those bacteriophages which has DNA are usually involved in the process of transduction. Usually RNA viruses are not a uh, participate in the process of transduction. As you know that these bacteriophages attack on the surface of bacteria. They penetrate their DNA into the bacterial cell. They use their machinery to synthesize their own DNA and uh, protein and they form new viruses. So this is a bacterium which is known as E. coli which is usually reside in our intestinal tract which is known as gut where it reproduces and produce intestinal infections. So first in the first step a bacteriophage which is a virus, phage virus is going to attack on the surface of bacterium with the help of enzyme which is known as lysozyme. It make a tiny hole inside the wall of the in the membrane of the bacterium and injects its DNA into the body of bacterium. So this is the cell of a bacterium E. coli. It has its chromosome which you can see in the green color and for, uh, for convenience I have given this uh, chromosome as posit A positive and B positive to understand it clearly more clearly. So the first step of the transduction is phage injects its DNA into the body of bacterium. Now in the second step, with the help of uh, viral enzymes, viral enzymes, what they do, they break down the bacterial DNA into different pieces so that it can be utilized and then host machinery can be utilized to synthesize viral protein and viral DNA to synthesize more and more viruses. So as you can see in this diagram, the bacterial DNA has been broken into pieces and at the same time viral DNA is going to be in action and it is going to synthesize new viral protein and DNA. So at the second step, phage enzymes degrade host DNA. As you can see in this diagram, the third step, there are many more new viruses are synthesized. As you can see right over here. So Within 25 minutes, about 200 new viruses are synthesized inside a bacterium. This cycle of the uh, bacteriophage is known as lytic cycle because it is going to kill the body of the bacterium. When this cycle is completed and many more viruses are produced inside the body of virus, certain enzymes break down the wall of the bacterium and bacteria body burst and all the viruses are released into the environment. Most of these viruses or phages are, do contain DNA which is original DNA of their viruses which is as you can see in the red color. But some of the DNA or some of the viruses, some of the phages, they contain bacterial DNA inside their body by mistake. So a small portion of a bacterial chromosome as you can see A positive has been incorporated into the protein capsid of virus. So it becomes A positive. So this phage virus which contain bacterial chromosome by mistake is known as transducing phage. So this is the third step synthesis of new phages and release of phages into the environment. Now these newly synthesized and newly released phages are going to attack another bacteria, E. coli bacteria. So one of them which is transducing phage is going to attack another bacteria and it injects its DNA into the cell of bacterium. So this is the next step. 
the transducing phase injects donor DNA. This is the donor bacterium. Its DNA has been transferred into recipient bacterium. Now, when this happens at this time, crossing over will take place between these two chromosomes and parts of the chromosome are exchanged with each other. So, as you can see in the next diagram, after crossing over, this recipient chromosome has been changed. This original bacterium contained DNA in the red color which is A negative and B negative now has been transformed into A positive and B negative. A positive is the gene from this donor bacterium while B negative is the part of the gene of the chromosome of the recipient bacterium. Now this bacterium is known as a recombinant bacterium and the transduction has been completed. So in the last step donor DNA has been incorporated into the recipient DNA by help of recombination. So in this way, a part of DNA from donor bacterium has been transferred into recipient bacterium with help of virus, which is known as phage virus. And this phage is known as transducing phage. So this uh, whole process is known as generalized transduction. In the same way, there is another type of transduction, which is known as specialized transduction. This type of transduction takes place in the lysogenic cycle of bacteriophage. During this process, bacteriophage attack on the surface of bacteria and penetrates its DNA into the cell of the bacterium. But rather destroying the cell, the viral DNA, phage DNA become incorporated into the viral DNA, into the bacterial DNA. So as you can see in this diagram, this is the structure of a cell of bacterium. The green color part of the diagram contain A positive and B negative. B positive this is a bacterial DNA while in the center there is a small piece of DNA which has been uh, taken from virus so this part of DNA is known as prophage DNA in this condition uh, this uh, DNA uh, lives inside the surface of bacterium or as a part of the bacterium in many generation but sometime uh, this bacterium will start lytic cycle and start to uh, produce new cells, new viruses inside the bacterial cells. During this process, viral DNA or prophage DNA gets separated from the bacterial DNA. As you can see, is becoming a loop-like structure. During this separation of viral DNA, some part of bacterial DNA also become part of viral DNA by mistake. So uh, a positive gene or a positive part of the bacterial DNA has been incorporated into the loop of the viral DNA or prophage DNA. Now this viral DNA is going to synthesize viral protein and viral DNA by using the host machinery and produce many new viruses. These viruses contain original DNA as well as part of bacterial DNA which has been incorporated during the process of uh, this reproduction. Now this virus contain a positive gene of bacteria, donor bacterium. And this phage is known as transducing phage. Now this phage when going to attack next bacterium, which is a recipient bacterium, this will inject its DNA into the cell of the bacterium, which contain A negative, B negative. And when, in, when the DNA of this transducing phage enters into the, this cell, the crossing over will take space between these two chromosome and uh, bacterial DNA which is A positive which is, has been incorporated into the viral DNA becomes the part of this chromosome, this recipient DNA. Now this DNA will become A positive and B negative which is known as recombinant bacteria. In this way, during this lysogenic cycle of bacteriophage, specialized transduction takes place and DNA of a donor bacterium has been transferred into recipient bacterium with help of a phage virus but a mechanism is little bit different. There is a third type of uh, rest, uh, transduction which is known as restricted transduction. Restricted transduction in this process, usually RNA viruses are involved and they transfer DNA or RNA molecules from one organism to an, another organism. This type of transduction usually causes tumors in animals and sometimes uh, these tumors can lead to cancer. So this, uh, this is all for today. I hope it makes sense and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye.